Hai, nama saya Muhammad Zuli Syam. Ingin uh, name saya Zod. Uh, hello, uh, nama saya Abdul Syafiq. Ingin uh, name saya Fix. Dan uh, saya bermain posisi support. Hello guys, nama saya Muhammad Nazmi. Ingin name dia is Arx. Hai guys, nama saya Dominus. Nama saya ni Akhir Ben Yomu. Ingin name Dominus. Eh, cakap lah saya Captain untuk Team Defense. Saya Captain untuk Team Team Park. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fung Kok Sing and my game name is Ozora Baiki. Um, my name is Daim Hong and my game name is Rampa. Okay, then, uh, di tempat kedua kan, nanti eh. So, uh, apa persediaan tu yang saya boleh kenal? Mungkin Captain boleh jawab. Oh. Apa pun jawab ni? Nampak je kau Captain tu. Or maybe Baiki can answer? Oh. So we were we were the first runner up for last season. For this season, especially we wanted to aim for the champion. We added in a coach, which is Bones, and then it really helps us on cleaning up our review more efficiently. I think this will help us to perform even better in this season. Okay, uh, ada terdapat macam pertukaran role atau apa tak? Tapi okay, sebenarnya Dominus dia uh, selalu main match kan? Eh? Okay, main mesh yang dekat ni so sekarang macam kemeta sekarang lebih kepada support so macam ni dulu um, dulu saya main mesh sekarang macam biasa lah sebab hyper point sekarang ni saya kena main support so transition tu saya rasa agak susah sikit lah bagi saya sebab kena belajar main support tapi so far so good lah ok uh, macam mana pula dengan keselasi kan sebab dah satu musim kan main sekali macam ni, ha, apa yang boleh anda lakukan tentang keselasian antara semua orang? Becky? I feel like our chemistry of the team is always good and the problem is more slightly on understanding of ourselves I think because we know what each other will do but sometimes it's more like the person itself don't know what he's doing Okay, so you guys got second place dalam the last season. So what do you think will be the challenges since you guys are aiming untuk jadi champion this season? What do you think are the challenges for you to get there? Apa cabaran kali ni? What's for your me, input? I feel like when MPL right, there's a new team coming to MPL. Means the MPL is going to get more competitive. If you, if any teams that were to look down on any new teams or like any good teams that were before right, this. This is where the downfall are. There was never a team that can easily get back to top top form like every season. If you look at it, every time you champion next season, you you, you go down. A lot of teams right have this like mentality of you were good, then you were good, you'll be good forever. That's this what I would like strongly disagree. Yeah. So if you were not to take this seriously, you will see a downfall of event. So we are definitely going to take every team very seriously. Alright, so bagus you dah mention pasal new team and uh. all that kan. So kalau macam tu pada pandangan you guys, who do you think are your strongest challenges for this season? Oh, Apa team yang you rasa kakak paling kuat lah? For me, I definitely think teams like IG, the EVOS, NG, and then the... I think these two are the strongest challenges lah. But the new team, because we don't have any like materials or like any experience against them so it's kind of easy for them to like shock us with their new play style and stuff you know this is something that you wouldn't know so we have to study them a lot more than those teams that we have played before okay so other other input uh, about that would you guys think your strongest challenges your team yang paling kuat kalau kalau one nanti saya rasa pun team daripada singapore lah macam marisji dengan ibos sebab mungkin sebab orang punya study hard dengan work hard tu orang kata lain daripada tim daripada Malaysia lah Okay okay one last question from me Okay so, so sekarang korang dah identify, boleh kata identify lah your strongest challenges Lepas tu so what do you think is your strength? Apa kekuatan di fam? You guys right need to uh, put one question lah especially for Zon You're not going to answer anything right now Oh iya ke? Dah Okay tak apa <laughs> okay, This one I aim for Zon lah Okay <laughs> So, apa Zon rasa kekuatan utama Geek Fam berbanding dengan tim-tim lain? Okay, uh, 
Rasanya kekuatan kita orang datangnya daripada emote and recall juga <laughs> Dengan kita orang punya playstyle emote dan recall ni rasanya uh, Tak semua team lah yang boleh tiru kan Jadi itulah yang membuatkan kita orang berbeza dan Akan bertambah lagi kuat Anyone else? Mungkin you rasa uh, something kekuatan team you yang unik Team lain tak ada? Satu zone yang emote kan, kan dia cakap macam Kadang-kadang kita laluan dan sebagainya hmm. Mungkin dia orang tak faham kan? Tapi uh, Seperti zone pun nampak macam Kalau dalam zone tasu dan sebagainya hmm. uh, Ponti pun adalah perkara biasa kan? Betul Betul Ponti adalah perkara yang paling biasa di e-sport <laughs> 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 Jangan ingat Sudah idea Mungkinkan kerana nama But uh, MPL lah dulu Bila korang lawan Bonis pun eh <laughs> Korang ada buat post water lah Kenapa korang kalah Macam Orang tu Zoramaki kata ah, Kita tak boleh look down team Is it because you're look down ke Ataupun main emote terlalu banyak ke What is the What is the real reason behind your Ini to Bonis pun lah Oh, first you mentioned you cannot look down teams, right? So do you think you can look down on them or what? Um, the biggest, uh, the biggest weakness of defense is our inability to close off a game. Even though we have like 10k goalie, because we used to tend to make mistakes after we take a lot. If people actually watch our replays carefully, so the the most dangerous part of defense is when we just finish our lot and there will be a throw and then the lot will be wasted where we, every time we lose a game that's winning I feel like our team's second game play will just very be lah for me every time when I play the second game it tends to have I feel like my team play differently it's different it's like it's not the same defense every time we lose a winning game and this, this is something that we are trying to fix on lah so it's a big problem it's a long term problem and if we want to fix that, then I think we will be them strong. So, what is your training regimen every day? Like, orang start for berapa, in for berapa, and then... Ah, you should know right, then? Captain is all right. Hmm. Jadi, korang akan bangun pagi, awal dalam pukul 2 itu kita orang dah bangun. Lepas tu, pukul 11, kita orang dah dekat luar, lepas tu, korang scratching, semua, semua. Takut tak betul-betul, kena benda. Lepas tu, kita orang habis, uh, settle makan semua mandi dalam pukul 1 kena ada dalam play training lepas tu daripada pukul 1 sampai pukul 3 tu kita orang main rank and then ada scrim sampai pukul 5 tu tu ada setengah lepas tu kita orang review lepas tu uh, sampai pukul 7 tu kita orang rank dia macam biasa lepas tu dinner basically ada sampai dalam pukul 7 something lepas tu kita makan pukul 8 ada scrim balik lepas tu dah habis scrim review dah Korang akan scream lah, dah ada partner So yang betul-betul scream tu, bila scream lah Scream sah Boleh rank tu, rank tu, no, apa 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 Kira apa lah? 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 You scream mostly Indonesian team All the MPL team that you see, you scream before Dah lah? Dah lah, almost lah, every lah I think every MPL Indonesian team you scream a lot So when you next scream Scream with these uh, different teams, right? Yeah. So you guys, I know you guys have your own strategy, but when you go up against a certain team, say Ewas, right? Or for Ewas, we have to take up, we have to use this pocket strategy, or how? Or is it it's just one strategy? Right? I do things that different teams have their different play style. Of. Yeah. It depends on how good you prepare. Like one one thing that I'm personally very proud of is during the MPI, the first game against Aero. We prepare for them so hard that our draft right like completely counters them and we actually know what they are going to be. And there are there are times where you just do good preparation, it really will happen lah. Like they, they can't do this and we just plan their plot and ding and then just seem so blind, right? They, they are they are lost, they, they are not the same teams. Sometimes good preparation really leads up to that and every other team also they have the playstyle like really dedicated to some heroes. Right? So these these are things that you can do. Lah. How about, how about yourself? Let's say if the opponent team they, they just ban A, B, C and then you guys are like, what do you do? That's, that's why it's quite important to brush out with your pool and then make sure that you have prepared a few kind of different strategy, right? Because when you comes to a tournament, it's quite easy that you just 
partner into like certain picks and then you know certain strategy that you're very comfortable. That's why good teams like let's say like IQ, they have like so much hero pool that you, you can never bend out them. They have so much play styles and that's why they are the champions. In order to become a champion, that's something that you must overcome. Macam sekarang korang pro gamer semua ya, all dia pro gamer. So moving forward, say five, ten years down the road, sedekat tempat ni, so maybe korang dah above the pro gamer punya optimum age lah. So do you guys plan already for what you want to do? Macam continue becoming streamer or coach or move into something else ke macam ni? Maybe start in zone? Lagi saya, saya saya tak ada rasa Saya belum lagi plan untuk Selepas pro player Tak tahu lagi Alright, so now okay lah Comfortable with your streaming and pro gaming Haa uh, And you feel macam <coughs> streaming uh, Plus pro gaming Does it help? Uh, what is your to do? What's your motive for streaming actually? Is it to engage with friends or to improve your own personal skill? Or how? Or what is it actually? Hmm, streaming hmm. Bagi I I tak tahu lah Streaming ni macam I tak ada pun rasa macam nak buat streaming okay. Tapi bila Sebab <coughs> Bila macam tak ada Tak ada apa nak buat kan jadi Streaming ni lah Macam Kerja part time Jadi I tak rasa pun macam I tu Aim apa-apa dekat streaming Mesti I aim for my career dalam e-sport Okay kepada fan-fan um, di luar sana, um, saya nak ucapkan terima kasih banyak-banyak sangat sebab um, tanpa korang aku rasa kita orang macam tak takkan berhenti untuk grind sebab kita orang tak nak let you guys down So sebab tu lah kita orang training hari-hari, kita orang nak buktikan kat korang yang kita orang tu mahu tu champion Tapi takkan ni terima kasih banyak-banyak, we appreciate you guys Okay, one, two, three Thanks for watching!